writing from the point of view of a red oak was quite a stretch and I was very worried about it. Uh, with both, it's interesting, with both Ivan and with Wish Tree, about halfway through the books, I decided to give up. And I still have this little piece of paper I show it to kids when I do school visits and it says, uh, the question is, do I give up on Ivan or not? Because I was going to throw it out. It was, who is going to read this book? It's about a gorilla. It's, you know. Um, and there's always that point. I think we all hit the wall when we're writing at some point and you kind of, you're filled with self-doubt. It's part of the job. Um, but with Wish Tree, I wanted a non-human observer of human behavior. And I wrote Wish Tree during the throes of the election. I wrote it quickly, I wrote it ferociously, but I wanted it to be for very, very young readers. I wanted you know, a first or second grader who's going, why are we othering entire groups of people? Why are we being so unkind to each other? Uh, the vitriol, the, the nastiness, it was just, uh, I think we, a lot of us just felt so, so overwhelmed by it. So it was very therapeutic. And I wrote it very much thinking, okay, I want something that a second grade teacher can read to her kids when they have, say, a new Muslim student in the class. And um, I want them to be able to understand the story. And in fact, um, I was in Seattle and I visited a school that had a hugely diverse population, large Muslim population. And um, they had read Wish Tree as a one school read. But the reason was because uh, a Muslim mom who had been in the parking lot had been harassed by another parent. And uh, she ran into the, the uh, office, devastated, upset. And one of the moms there happened to be reading Wish Tree to her young son. And she said, you know what? We should read this book. We should all read this book. And everyone read it, the crossing guards and the, uh, you know, the librarian and the administration. And they had a sort of day of healing afterwards. And of course made a wish tree, which was lovely. Um, a lot of schools have been doing that. But that to me was so, such a wonderful story. It's really heartening as an author to think that your intent actually had an effect. I think at the end of the day, a lot of books for young readers are more sophisticated. Um, than an adult book you might find in the adult section of a bookstore. There are many, many kid books that I think adults should read and would love if they would venture. So very often for, um, for a book like Wish Tree, I think the, re the real difference will just be that the cover looks a little different. It'll be in a different place in the bookstore.